Kira kita nak tahu Perkembangan terbaru Kerana saya sebagai Ketua Menteri Saya pun nak tahu Apa yang sebenarnya berlaku okay, Kalau kita lihat itu Apa yang saudara eh, Bukan saudara, tak boleh cakap dia saudara Apa yang itu tencang yang cakap Dalam surat khabar Sinchu Jipo Bahawa keselamatan Perdana Menteri terancam ini kita boleh bagi salinan surat khabar lah Haa, cakap Cakap dengan Jinjo, tuan tak? Oh, okey, puing lah Ya Ini, ini yang dia cakap terancam lah Okey, orang hai sen Haa, wey, ni cakap lah No, that the the safety of the Prime Minister uh. Is threatened And uh. they are talking about the Prime Minister safety Tak ingat semua cik, kan? Tak cik, hai sen Yeah. PM also. Oh, no, all along he's talking about PM. Yesterday is Yesterday is papers. Yesterday is talking he about said, science, right? He says that, he says that people want to attack the PM. And also science, isn't it? No, the first day he's going to say science. Yes, the second day he talked about science. This uh, one published yesterday. And then yesterday in the PC he said science. Okay, so he started off by saying PM. And then uh, yesterday he said sign. Yeah. I want to stress this. He has never withdrawn his statement saying that the prime minister was threatened. So now we are looking at two issues. Yeah, yeah. Prime minister threatened, mm. side threatened. First time he spoke in Sinchu, uh, uh, scoop, a scoop, special report. He says prime minister threatened. Yeah. Up to today he has not withdrawn that statement that prime minister threatened. Mm. Yesterday he said side threatened. How about that? Huh? Okay. So when he's let's deal with the prime minister first. Prime minister safety important, uh, important. So when uh, he said prime minister threatened, immediately question was asked, who threatened the prime minister? Question was asked by China Press. Uh, China Press, huh? You talk about China Press on the OCPD. He said no report. Don't know. Or no such thing that prime minister threatened. Later, yesterday, the CBO came out st uh, statement. Nothing about the Prime Minister may threaten. Tak ada cakap keselamatan Perdana Menteri terancam. Betul tak? Dia tak sebut langsung. Dia ada tak sebut, sign. So, clearly, Teng Chang Yao is talking nonsense. Clearly, Teng Chang Yao is not telling the truth when he says, that the Prime Minister's life is threatened and somebody wants to attack the Prime Minister and up to now Teng Chang Yao has not withdrawn this irresponsible statement how can a Penang VN chairman say this that the Prime Minister is threatened when this is not so because you are giving a very bad impression about Penang this affects the reputation of Penang. And you are Penang BN chairman some more. You want to spoil Penang's name. When this is not true. So up to now, we want to ask, where is the proof, where even the police said there is no report about the PM being threatened. There is no statement made by the CPO that the PM is threatened. Where is the proof? And if there is no proof, shouldn't you as a responsible leader, Penang BN Chairman, shouldn't you tarik balik and minta maaf to the people? Tarik balik and minta maaf. Because that must be done. This is very important. Harus tarik balik dan minta maaf. Understand this or not? I want to deal with the PM first before I go to the site. Any questions on the PM? Yes, the, the attempt to assault was someone uh, who know how many people are throw rice and uh, water. No, no, this one is that, the, that they have received information. That one, we don't know why you talk about uh, rice or whatever. That day itself. No, but he is talking about they have received information that received information that people are going to attack the Prime Minister. Oh. I actually asked him about it and he said he was misquoted by Sin Chiu. Then later, Sinchu called him, Chun Wai also called him, and then he called me back, and then he said he misunderstood my question. <laughs> and asked me to take out that line. 
So he was not misquoted by Sin Chiu. Sin Chiu quoted know. him correctly. I don't know who is lying. No, no, but Sin Chiu yeah. quoted him correctly. He never said that Sin Chiu misquoted him. No. But he told me. He told me in the beginning. Yeah, after that he ah, retracted. After that he retracted. Yeah. After he retracted, said that he did not mean it that way. Mm. So we have to take his final statement that and he has never actually corrected his statement to Sin Chiu. Prime Minister was threatened. Instead, he told Sin Chiu that... Uh, he misunderstood my question. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, let, 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 let's, uh, whether he really misunderstood or not, let's leave that one side. Oh. Lah, because he seems to misunderstand a lot of things now. Yeah. Lately, he <laughs> misunderstands a lot of things. So, now we put that one side. Now we look at what he has said that he has not actually corrected. Assertions by him that the PM was threatened. The police said no, no reports, nothing of that sort. CPO, when it comes with the statement, never mentioned that PM was threatened. Only mentioned side. And he had all along said that it was the PM that was threatened. And we want to say that one more where is the proof. If there is no proof, you got to tarik balik. And he has to, uh, uh, what do you call that, and apologize to the people of Penang. Because otherwise, it is not fair to the people of Penang. Any more questions on the PM? Let's go to the next one, which I think is even bigger news than the PM being threatened.